All right, it's time to play today's box office game. This time, we're guessing the top five movies from the weekend of January 5th, 2007. I usually try to start with the tagline, where history comes to life. Well, that reminds me of a post roll that I just played, Ninth Museum, Ben Stiller. I think it's around the time frame that the movie came out. And yes, that one is correct. One down, only took one guess. Pretty good start so far. All right, Ninth Museum, I got that pretty quickly. Now let's scroll down to number two and see if I can get it in just one guess. I, I'm doubting that I can, but let's see. Let's start with the tagline and wow, inspired by a true story. That's the tagline for this movie. That sounds so dang generic. I revealed the actor though, Will Smith, inspired by a true story. I think around this time frame, um, The Pursuit of Happiness was coming out. I think that sounds right with him and his son, Jaden. Uh, let's type it in and see if that is right. I'm pretty positive that's what it is though. Let's see here. Is it right? Yes, boom. I actually really enjoyed this movie. Uh, you could say it slaps. All right, Will Smith in The Pursuit of Happiness with number two. Let's go down to number three and see if I can get it as quickly. I like only using two hints. Any more than that, I feel like I'm cheating, but I always start with the tagline. So let's do this tagline. What is it? No children, no future, no hope. Um, okay, a dystopian movie of some sort, but I think I'm gonna need the actor too. Clive Owen, oh duh. Wow, I thought this movie came out earlier than this. This is Children of Men, one of the best sci-fi movies ever made. Definitely one of the best sci-fi movies the past 20 years. If you have not seen Children of Men, absolutely do yourself a favor and watch it because I love this movie so much. All right, here's number three, the simplistic elegance of Children of Men. I love that poster, but let's go down to number four and see again if I can get it in two hints. Okay, I'm gonna start with the taglines made by Paramount Pictures. Let's see what this sucker is. Our story, our words. Okay, cannot get it from that. Let's go to the actor, Hilary Swank and words. Um, oh, she was in a movie, MTV movie, Freedom Writers with words and Hillary Swank. That's what my brain is going to. Is that correct? It is correct. Okay, I will take that. I've never seen this movie, but that does not look like a movie I want to watch really. All right, we had Hillary Swank with Freedom Writers at number four. So now let's scroll down to see if we can get all five of them today, hopefully with only using two hints, but let's go for it. Okay, I'm gonna not do the tagline this time, and I am instead going to go with the actor, the first actor, Beyonce. Hmm, wasn't she? She was in a movie with Idris Elba and Ali Carter, which is called Obsessed or Obsession. I'm gonna say Obsessed. That was not right, okay. Let's go to the tagline. I just wanted to shoot my shot with just one guess. I gotta have two. Fame comes and goes, stars rise and fall, but dreams live forever. Okay, it's got dreams in the freaking tagline. This is Dream Girls. Let's type that sucker up. This has gotta be it. Beyonce is the lead, huh? Not Eddie Murphy, not, uh, no, I have not seen Dream Girls. I really wanna change that at some point, but there are a lot of movies that I wanna see that I probably won't. Is Dream Girls any good? Let me know. Poster.